بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على عبده ورسوله الأمين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear brothers and sisters in Islam السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته The holy month the noble month of Ramadan is a season whoever neglects it is among those who are doomed by Allah Azza wa The Prophet والسلام, once was stepping down from his minbar and every step he used to say Ameen, Ameen, Ameen. And the companions said to him, Prophet of Allah, what are you saying Ameen to? And then he said, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it was Jibreel telling me, O Muhammad, Whoever Ramadan gets to him and he is not forgiven and then thrown into hell, may Allah Azza wa Jal cast him away. So say Ameen. And the Prophet said, Ameen. How many Ramadans have passed over us? Can anyone say, can anyone claim that Allah Azza wa Jal has forgiven? Our sins do we feel good about the previous Ramadans that have passed us well let's not talk about the past and let's talk about the present time this is a season this is a moment that we should seize we should do our best to get closer to Allah Azza wa Jal. and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not limit ways to get closer to him on things that we are unable to do Allah gave us a whole array of variations Allah Azza wa Jal instructed us to fast and he gave us the glad tidings that whoever fasts the month of Ramadan believing in its obligation and anticipating for the reward from Allah Azza wa Jal Allah the Almighty would forgive his previous sins not only that we know that there are eight gates to paradise to Al Jannah and one of them is called Al Rayyan only those who fast will enter from it so we have to fast but also we have to offer a lot of good deeds in Ramadan there are lots and lots of things to do for you to choose from and if you are favored by Allah if you're blessed by Allah you'll be able to do most or all of them there is night prayer known as Taraweeh and the Prophet ﷺ gave us the glad tiding he said whoever prays with the Imam until he concludes his night prayer Allah would rec record for him the reward of a whole night as if you prayed from Isha until Fajr so if you pray with your Imam for an hour top two hours Allah Azza wa would give you the reward of a whole night not only that if you do this every single night the Prophet ﷺ tells us again whoever prays Ramadan that is night prayer in Ramadan the whole of Ramadan Allah Azza wa Jal would forgive his previous sins providing that he has done this believing in the reward and anticipating of it 30 days some people say this is a lot Allah Azza wa Jal is asking us not only that he's facilitating to us to get closer to him Allah says to his Prophet والسلام, and the Prophet informed us that if you offer night prayer in Laylatul Qadr, the night of decree, which is one of the nights of the last ten nights of Ramadan. If you pray that night, Allah would forgive all of your previous sins. So anyone who misses this chance and opportunity would be considered to be insane would not be considered as 
a proper logical intellectual Muslim because he's giving this reward away for nothing for what for a movie for a TV program to sit comfy in your house all of this can be done later on but getting closer to Allah Azza wa Jal cannot be except in this season the season of opportunities the Prophet tells us alayhi salatu wasalam, that the people on the day of judgment will be under the shade of their charity of their sadaqah and this is why the Prophet wasalam, was not seen more generous than the month of Ramadan so it is an opportunity for those who cannot pray night prayer to give generously for the cause of Allah to help the poor to help the needy to feed the hungry to assist in giving da'wah to the Muslims and to the non-Muslims to build the mosques and the Islamic centers so that we can spread the word of Allah your wealth can be one of the means for you to enter Jannah with not only that the month of Ramadan if you ask any Muslim they would tell you it's the month of month of fasting <clears throat> and it is the month of the Quran so this month dedicated to recite the Quran to memorize the Quran to understand the meaning of the things that you're reciting and reading because you will not get closer to Allah better than what Allah Azza wa has revealed to us the companions those righteous predecessors of ours if you read their biographies and see how they used to recite the Quran you would be astonished the least you could do is finish the whole Quran in Ramadan this is the least there are people who used to recite the whole Quran once a day Uthman ibn Affan may Allah be pleased with him prayed the whole Quran in one raka one witr raka from Isha until Fajr prayer near the Kaaba he recited the whole Quran and a lot of the Muslims don't even know how the Quran looks like except in Ramadan and they do that only for a few minutes the month of Ramadan is an opportunity to reconnect with the people especially those of the next of kin those whom we severed our connection with is an opportunity to purify our hearts and to remove our differences it's an opportunity to forgive and pardon and to reconnect with those whom we love and with those whom Allah ordered us to reconnect with Ramadan is an opportunity to repent to humiliate yourself for Allah to show Allah true and sincere submissiveness ask Allah to forgive you and Allah Azza wa is there Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is there if you call him he will answer you if you seek his forgiveness he will forgive you and if you require or request anything from him he will give you because he is Allah the provider the sustainer the creator the owner of all what you see may Allah Azza wa Jal make this Ramadan a blessed one for you and for me and for the Ummah of Islam. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.